This is Soy. And this is Zyra. And you're listening to Hair Hair and Whatever. Whatever. Unfiltered Salon Talk. Hey y'all, this is Soy, Kalo K, and I am Tyra, and you're listening to Hair and Whatever, and we have a special guest on the show. Her name is Candice Holyfield, six-figure spa chick. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, I am Candice Holyfield, also known as a six-figure spa chick dedicated to helping spa, beauty, and wellness professionals open and operate successfully. Okay. Yes. She got that down pat. I know. I don't have my intro like that. (laughs) (laughs) I need that intro. (laughs) So what are we talking about, Soy? What are we talking about? So what are we talking about? So today I know. So what we talking about is um, she read it before, guys. (laughs) (laughs) I did. Is um, what it means to love your hair, and of course we have um, Candice Holyfield, and it's how to be a boss with Candice Holyfield. Right. So, yeah. All right. So this week. Let's do the hair crown before, you mm-hmm. know, we get into that. Um, so this week for the hair crown of the week, we have Missy Elliott. So um, So you've seen this where She was... Um, it was it was featured on the shade one, but it's been like floating around, around like the whole internet or whatever. She just looks super like, fly. Right. Oh, she has her name spelled out with her, her hair. hair. She's holding it. Yeah. And it was like a, it was like a done for a photo shoot or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fly. Yeah. Well, we like that. Put it up. Somewhere. So y'all can see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a creative genius. Yeah, right. I love her. Yeah. yeah. And she's always been. Mm-hmm. Doing, every, you know, her fly thing. shit all the time. All right, so let's get into the hair portion. Mm-hmm. What it means to love your hair. So what does it mean to act, you know, to love your hair texture, your hair? It means, like, whatever hair that you got growing out your hair, you should, head, you should love it. You think so? Uh huh. Even though I don't wear mine a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> but is that is that? Do you think that that's love? Yes, I do. I think that you know, like for me, like I do love my hair. I love my texture, but I want to look different. Okay. You know, so like I like to look different, different days. So, I mean, doesn't mean that I don't love you know what grows out of my hair because I'm always like doing something different. I just to me, if I was to wear my hair like every day, I would be bored. Mm, damn. Yeah, I want to look <laughs> like you know like the DMX challenge. Like I want to look like all <laughs> everybody. That's, good, like, yeah, everybody. That's, that's also you as a hairstylist. I think yeah. That, like that's you know like I I'll change my hair not as as freaking as you, but like right. I'll change it and like I'll put like curls in there or like maybe braids. Mm-hmm. Or, not as you know. And then leave it for all of like ten hours <laughs> and <Yeah>. take it out. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Do you like what? What do you think it means to love your hair? I know you know you well. You cut your hair. I hated my hair. That's really? I, you hated it? I feel like it's women. Sometimes we have to learn to love our hair. Mm-hmm. Right. So my other hair, when I had hair, I just hated it. Like I hated constantly going to the beauty shop and have to get it done. You got to wash it. You got to. I was like, I'm gonna cut this off. It's been the best thing I have ever done in my life. But so when you um so when you were getting it done, was it in the did you have a relaxer? Or did yeah, you? Yeah, I had a relaxer. Oh, you had a re- Then it was just too much upkeep. Was it like longer hair or was it short? I mean, I was broke. <laughs> so I'm like, I constantly got to go get my, you know, you live in a, I'm going to move to Atlanta. Right. It was too much to keep up. I was like, and you go a lot of places. So yeah. you need to have your hair done. Right. right. I was like, I'm cutting this off to save money. But yeah. don't you got to upkeep the haircut too, though, right? Yeah, but it's like $20. Right. Oh, okay. A weed, 500 <laughs> And if you want to change it up like you, that's that's a lot of weaves. Right. So, no, I love, love my hair now, though. Mm-hmm. You love it now? It looks super I fly, though. It. Like, I love Well, you choice. love it like this length. You I feel love like. it like <clears throat> just very low maintenance. Mm-hmm. And to me, just loving my hair is um, I'm happy about it. Right. It makes me confident. You know, I feel bold. I right. feel sexy. I feel different with it like yeah. this. Yeah. And my hair is like one of my statement pieces beside my lips. So when you said that you, <laughs> okay, girl, okay, right? She threw that in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So when you said you hated your hair, was it the, the fact that it was just that you go in and get it done, or was it just the texture? Everything. It was the texture too. Even my little baby, I have to. It takes me like two hours to just go through shampoo. Mm-hmm. I, like I don't do her hair. She has to go to the salon. Right. So I hate the whole process. 
How old is she? She's six now. And she goes so, to the salon every two weeks. Okay. So well, she got braids. Yeah. It's a lot. So even, I mean, I understand for certain people, like it, it may that it may, it may not be their thing, you know, and and it fits thing. you, like it really does fit you. And I we we talk about it all the time. Like I think, you know, we spoke about it actually last week. I um, heard that one. Yeah, about the big chops and stuff. Right. Um. Where you know, I think, you know, she said like, um, I think a woman should cut her hair maybe once, once in, in her, her lifetime. Yeah. 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 I've I've cut my hair a couple not a couple of times, but <laughs> one time. I did the big chop, not a sh- not like, like that, this. but it was short, you know, and it was very liberating. It was easy to maintain, very you easy. know, get up and go, you know. That's how it was. But um, you know, I also feel like you know you have to kind of like learn how to love your texture, what comes out of, what grows out of your right. head. You know what I'm saying? I think we we as a community, and I mean like African American women, we have that problem because we've we've have hidden. And you know, behind a relaxer for years. Well, yeah, you know, so straight, straightening our hair. Right, so we've been like, you know, and it makes it more manageable. We we used to get in a perm and we can easily right. do something with mm-hmm. it. And we were brainwashed to make it like, okay, well, that was the thing to do. You know, we had it right in the seventies, and then you know, that disrupted. Again. Like in the seventies, right? Like in the seventies, yeah. a lot but of even people still then, like we didn't, we still didn't have the right <clears throat> information. Not the, no, not no, but a lot of women did embrace their, you know, their right. afro. Yeah, and right. Davis and right, exactly. The Panther movement and all that. Yeah. Now they got a lot of product though to help us manage right. our natural. All my kids natural in me, so nobody has to relax in my house. Mm-hmm. Right. But it's tons of product now to make it more lovable. Right. Right. To, right. You know, and manageable. Yes. And the right. information is starting to be out there, even though you'll have to still be aware. Well, now they shame people to have a perm. Yeah. Yeah. Now they talk about that. We had a whole um, episode about that, too. too you right. Know, How, where, you know, like, we are now shaming people for that, yeah. you know, like, if it's a bad thing. And, you know, we didn't even see it like, okay, well, you know, what about people who just don't want to deal with it and that's okay right. too. that's okay too right. you yeah. know like it everybody doesn't have to be natural right i don't always have to wear my curls you know like i can it's switch cute, it though. up yeah I, I love my curls like i that's how i you know 90 mm-hmm. percent of the time i wear my hair you know i like to switch it up too but because i switch it up doesn't mean i'm less of a natural right you know mm-hmm. my hair is natural i do have color in my hair too so that makes it you know a little compromised mm-hmm. because of the color which straightens the hair a little bit you got the natural hair clicks out here that's like oh well <laughs> she ain't all the way natural because she do this and she do that right like i can wear weave and still be natural girl right okay yeah but as um like hairstylists we encounter a lot of people that are not loving their you know or or embracing their hair um so i i feel like what what it means like to you like okay well what would you give an advice to like a client like that's coming in and she just doesn't want to like my, love her curls? Or... <laughs> well, my advice would be like to kind of like start where she's at. Like I know that she doesn't love her. You know, if she's uncomfortable with her curl texture, then we would kind of unpack and see why. You know, yeah. And then I would, you know, a- ask her what her lifestyle is like. Because then that's going to determine if she's even willing to Mm -hmm. keep up with what I'm going to advise her to try to have, you know. So that's what I would say. Right. Yeah. What about you? I mean, I kind of like similar, the (laughs) same thing. Like, we always kind of like, when we're together in the salon, we kind of like, you know, gang on somebody, like, and Mm -hmm. say like, okay, well, you know, like, why and trying to look in like deep in see what, it what it is that why you don't really love your texture you know because there's we got so many issues so <laughs> many <laughs> i was someone they were talking about a is it called a cold four hair or what is it oh um, four four c four c like a four c four a four b never heard that in my life oh yeah four a they have numbers they have numbers for the curls yeah that was like four c i was like never heard of it yeah so it's real out here 
I mean, you know, it's like everybody a guide. has it's a guide, but there's so many like different textures. Like I feel like there should be more of anything, you know? Mm. There should be like these and right. you know, Maybe we, I the whole damn alphabet. Yeah, four A B four A B or right. you know, like Yeah, put it together because there's so many like you could be four A B C. Right, exactly. Because oh, wow. mm-hmm. people have I have different patterns, so my hair in the back grows a certain curled t- uh, pattern and then some in the front are, are curlier mm. so I feel like everybody has a different that's all just like you know a guide you know just to see where you are it's generalizing right, basically exactly. oh, okay. yeah. yeah just to give a guy like you know okay well I fall into somewhere in between this category right mm. but it's not law yeah. yeah and a lot of people like a lot of clients also kind of manipulate like their curls like to make it look like a certain right. texture as well. Like a 4C can manipulate their curls to kind of mimic a 4A. Or right, with like flexi rods, flexi rods okay, okay, or okay. something like or, that. Or, you know, like but perm like rods. It up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but some people like every time, like, you know, like they always say like, well, I would wear my hair if my, hair, my curls look like yours. You know? Yeah. And to me, like... We get a lot of that. You know, like if you actually really did like the, the work... You know, we always say, like, a good shampoo, right. good, you know, like, deep conditioning on a regular basis, you know, just eating healthy and all that stuff. Like, you're eight Drinking your water, minding your business. Yeah, drinking your water, <laughs> minding your business. I didn't want to say it, but <laughs> you say it, said it. You know, um, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can have, you can fall in love with your curl pattern, mm-hmm. you know, totally. Like, and be like, girl, I was tripping. I, I I was I wanted somebody else's, but you know, and we always say that like we always want somebody else's yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. But what about your stuff and how you're like that for a reason? And I think that too, like um, it, I want to put it out there too. Like we always talk about it, how you may not need to even manipulate, like you said, your curls if you just do those. Things, right, right. You know, like because your curls, you you're don't gonna, you'll train it. your curls and the, you'll like with the maintenance like that you do, like a maintenance plan mm-hmm. that we give clients well you buy these products you know even if you don't buy them from us somebody else you can buy them from you know because you may not have the money there but it's important to work in unison with the professional because you'll get the pe- best results like i've seen like you know um sabrina's curls have transformed, transformed completely, completely. Mm-hmm. she's been you know she's she's been bringing her her daughter she came in with one texture and, and now her texture is different. different she's been getting trims and so you can change your texture no, you can't change your texture, so, but it can be at its fullest potential, potential right? As oh. healthy as as mm-hmm. possible. By the things, and, and won't good. have to really yeah. be manipulated by like a flexi rod or a two strands twist. Okay. Right, you'll yeah. you'll have so much definition just by using the right products. Product. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And doing the right things and getting the trims, and you could train your curls to flourish, mm-hmm. right? Without manipulating them with a those flexi other, rod, right, yeah. or, and you can do that. You can do that too, right? Yeah. You can. Like I'm not nothing against it. Like go ahead, you know. I like to switch it up. Like she yeah. likes to switch it up. Like so, I loves to switch it I up. I sure do. <laughs> yeah, she oh says like she loves her like her <laughs> her straight. You know her hair, but her hair is always straight. I'm gonna say ninety percent of the time her hair. So do you really? Do I feel like, why? I'm really, really being, love your texture. I'm being attacked. <laughs> no, but do you really love your texture? I do love my texture. I have, I wore my texture, I have a picture on Instagram mm-hmm. with my hair, with my fro, with my big old fro. What, in 2009? Maybe 17, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but it's there, you know? I wore it for a whole week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Halloween coming up, you can wear your fro. There you go. But why mm-hmm. it has to be for Halloween? <laughs> she can't maintain it. It's hot. Sorry. It's just I just like to look different. Like I feel like if I just wore my curls, it would just be okay. This bitch you getting in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you never wear them. I do. I wear them. No, like, you don't. When was the last time you wore them? Like, maybe it was. It was this year. No, it, it was yes, not. It was. No, it yes, was not. Yes, I cut off the rest of my um. You didn't wear your curls, and if you did, I that... did for a whole week. Dara. Lies, you <laughs> fucking tell. <laughs> Don't believe her. Do not believe her. Soy. Listen, I love my hair. That's a lie. I do. I don't think so. You know, like we. I think you have some self love. Oh, girl, do. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> whatever. Like, 
you're delusional. Like, no, I love just because <laughs> I wear. You wore. You know what you did? You what? you wore the clippings, the curly clippings. Yeah. But even though you manipulated the curl, like you put the flexi rod in there. Uh huh. Remember to manipulate Listen. your hair to look like the clippings. I'm a little older than you. I back in the day, I wore my hair before the movement, before the natural. Girl, hair I've movement. always been natural. Okay, me too. And I, I, I wore my hair. People used to call me Khalees and um, Maxwell. <laughs> I, I used to wear my hair curly all the time. I was, I, I wore locks. Like you can't even get no like natural than that. Yeah, she was pro, pro black. Yeah, I'm telling you. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So like, I had locks. I had everything. Like now, I want to look like some different. I, I mean. No, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You're over it. Mm. Your natural hair. <laughs> you see? <laughs> the shade. <laughs> I mean, I... The shade. Look, I've never... Working with you, like, I've never really seen you. I, I saw... I've seen... Obviously, I've seen your yeah. natural hair because I shampoo your hair. Right. So I see it getting curly as I'm shampooing it, <laughs> you know? But right. I... But that's... Because I wore that for years. Like, for years, I've wore my hair. So I'm like, okay, I just want to So when your daughter... Different. When your daughter is telling you she doesn't want to wear her curls, mm -hmm. you can't knock her. <sighs> no. Because she'll go in on her daughter and say, like, oh, <laughs> really? you got to love your curls and you got to wear your curls. But her, her daughter doesn't want to wear her younger. curls. Yeah, she's younger. I mean, she does wear it. I mean, she wear, she just doesn't wear it like how I would want her to wear it. Like, she doesn't wear it down. Like, she wears ponytails. And stuff but imagine like her that. telling you that she wants you to wear her, your hair how yeah, she, she wants you to wear her hair. Yeah, I get it. You know? I mean, I get it. Well, to each his own. <laughs> to each his own. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know. My daughter natural now. She wears weaves. Really? How old is your daughter? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. See. Yeah. Weaves galore. <laughs> but she's natural. Is it though. like you know, like the straight weaves, or is it all kinds? All kinds. Weaves, wigs, you name it. Right. She got it. Mm -hmm. She never wear her real hair. Yeah. Right. Do you tell her like embrace your hair? No, you don't she care. Can do so. whatever she wants to. Right. Mm -hmm. It's her head. Yeah. I let her do whatever she wants. To. But do you think like she's hiding under like a knot? No, know? but that's what I'm saying. I know that it's um it's hard to maintain that every day. And especially for people who work out. Yeah. That's a whole other ball game. Yeah. And that and that's fine, you know, like I just feel mm -hmm. like, you know, also like, you know, as long as I'm all about healthy hair. As long as your hair is healthy. Right. Yeah. Then that's fine. Wear all she the healthy. clippings. She got her edges and everything. Yeah. yeah. She got her edges. <laughs> right. But I think it's like her. She because she can have on a red wig today and a black wig it's tomorrow. It's fun. It is fun. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. One like, day she had on two in one day. Like it was earlier than. <laughs> yeah. Switch switch it up. You know. We're wearing different you Tamika, hair. I like, I, I've worn purple hair. Night. I've worn you know like you know every you know little. Back in the days when I was younger, I had red hair, green hair, blue hair. Like, mm -hmm. I used to do it a lot. Like, I, I dyed my ends all those colors, you know? So I had done, like, you know, colors too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like I just, like I said, like, as long as it's, like, you're loving what comes right. out of you. Because it's part of self-love. Right. Yeah. You know? Don't you think? I think so. But it just doesn't mean that, you know, just because you don't wear your curls doesn't mean that you don't love your curls. Because we... You know what I'm saying? Like, we can do that. Like, no, that's absolutely. The, I'm not saying just because you don't wear your hair, like, you know, like, I feel like embrace your natural hair, right? So whether I'm, I embrace my natural hair, and if I want to wear my hair, you know, um, straight, that's mm -hmm. it's my natural hair, straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or if I want to, you know, like, put weave in it, as long as I'm doing it healthy, yeah. that's fine. You yeah. know, and I'm not manipulating in case if ever... You know, I am going to wear my healthy my hair, but it's going to be in as healthy and the best state possible. Yeah, and mine is in the best state possible underneath these weeds. I'm not and saying you. <laughs> I'm not saying you. I'm okay, saying just in saying general. general yeah. You know? Yeah. And put it to my defense of you in the past. No, nah, I know, girl. I, I'm, you know, I'm. We, I, we do each other's hair. So right. I know. I'm, we're, we're talking about like the topic of the show, mm -hmm. like you know what it means to love your hair, you know. But people love their wigs, too. Right. They and do. <laughs> but it's 2019. So every time we turn around, okay, it's a frontal now. It's a lace front. Mm -hmm. It's and so then it's much back stuff to, coming out. And then it's back to natural. And then it's like, so it'll, oh, be a, it'll be a 360 anyway. Right. Yeah, all yeah. the time, you know. But also, like I said, like, you can't, like, under that wig, you can't have no edges. 
<laughs> and a lot of people don't though. Right. And that's the thing. And that's a problem. Like, yeah, that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. A lot that's, of people don't. That's a problem. Yeah. You should. You should be. You able should to... have healthy hair underneath right. all of that stuff you got going on. Right. And that's what you know. That's main. The main topic of today. Like I feel like you know, um, part of loving yourself is is being you know like it's just even like being healthy, eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like. I mean, girl, like, mm. I like, I love ice cream, and I have me a drink every day. <laughs> not every day, huh? Not every day, but, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. You know, like, and that's not healthy, but, you know, we can do better. Right. Mm-hmm. Just in general, you know? Room for improvement. Exactly. No? Sorry? Yeah, I agree. Mm. I don't know. It felt like you were against me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was defending my different looks of you feel an attack because you, you know, know it's true. I was no listen. <laughs> listen, I get to do this. I'm a stylist. I get to change up. I get to be blonde. I get to be brunette. I get to go black. I get to go long. I yeah. get to go straight, short, all of it. Yeah, you get to come into the salon and dye your hair. That's right. And then go <laughs> orange and then go black again. <laughs> I sure do. Don't be trying to shade on the low. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Let's get into the slip. This is the end. So uh, this person is anonymous. She's asking, why does my hair hurt? And I've heard that before. Like, um, clients will come in and, and say, like, my hair hurts. You think she's talking about, like, her hair? Like, I, No. I think that she's talking about her scalp. Her scalp. Oh. Yeah. Because I've heard, like, like clients say, my scalp is so, to- you know, sore. And... It could be, you know, various things. So I know when I, like, let's just say, like, if I have an updo, like, a a, a tight Mm -hmm. ponytail. Right. Braids. You know, like, your your scalp can be sore Mm -hmm. from, you know, just the tension. Any kind of manipulation that you're doing, like pulling or whatever. Especially if you wear your hair down most right. of the time. Or if, if your you man wear... is pulling your hair down. <laughs> we gonna take that one The man out. pulling hair. That's a different hurt. <laughs> right, right. That's a, di- right. Different, That's right. a different kind of hurt, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I think um, it, it because it's because, you know, um, some sort of manipulation. Yeah. I wear my hair down all the time, so like any kind of like tension will make my head hurt or, you know, like my head will be sore, you know? Mm. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's what it is. You know, she probably maybe had some tension going on in her hair. And that could be, that's the, that's the reason why, you know, so maybe. And she used to wear her hair down or something. Right. Or maybe just wear your hair down, you know, and see. Mm-hmm. Or maybe her hair is heavy, like, you know, like she has a lot of hair. Maybe if she puts a little, I have a friend um who her she has a lot of hair i mm-hmm. think i showed you a picture yeah of her. yeah and anytime like she even does like this and her hair like she'll have to like kind of pull it down because it's so heavy. so heavy on mm-hmm. it yeah, yeah. Y'all y'all do trichology? no no uh-huh. we took a class though then we took a, cl- we took yeah, a class yeah and, and, and uh yeah we took a class though but no we don't do it because it's deep mm-hmm. we yeah to, we always be on a panel together this hair summit in la oh, right oh, yeah and hear like this the stuff that goes. It hurts depending on what they got going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So hopefully she don't have no scalp issues. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we had a episode about hair loss and hair um, thinning, and yeah, the difference. The between. difference between. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I took a class about that, and it's a lot. It's deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They had the little machines and everything that go, yeah. and you can see the scalp. All right. Well, let's get into the whatever portion with Candace Holyfield. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. hey, girl, hey. <laughs> so tell us who's Candace Holyfield. So I have so many titles. Of course, I am a mom of three. I've mm-hmm. helped over 500 black-owned spas open and operate. 500? Over 500. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so dope. Um, open and operate successfully. Wait, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just did my the very first Black Spa Expo in the world this uh-huh. weekend in Atlanta. I oh, you owned, did? Yes. Over 500 people came. It oh, was amazing. Nice. I owned the very first Black Spa magazine in the world. Oh, okay. I got a lot of things. I got the key to the city of Atlanta. Congrats. For all of my community service work. I have a large celebrity clientele. You know. I be trying to do some things. In these yeah, streets. you got some things going on. Yeah, we'll some get things popping. Yeah, um, 
So we um, obviously we're moving into the era where more and more people work for themselves. And I know obviously you work for yourself and so do we. What advice would you give someone who is becoming an entrepreneur? Like a, what's step one? Yeah. Get a business coach. Well, I mean, step one will be to get your LLC. Right. But I would definitely say get a business coach. That really helped me scale. A business like coach? Like a mentor. A mentor? No, not a mentor. Not a, a mentor? A mentor is usually free. Right. A business uh, coach, you got to pay. Okay. I think people get that confused all the time. Your right. business coach is not free. You got to pay right. them. Because your mentor is not dedicated or obligated to help you. They're kind of just, you know, helping you when they want, when they want to. With your business coach, you're mm -hmm. paying them. Mm -hmm. So they're obligated to make you successful. Where did, would you find a business coach? Oh, they're everywhere. You can, depending on what industry you're in, you can Google that industry. Forbes has a business coach. Did you counsel. get a business coach for when you first started? Not when I first started. I maybe was maybe five years in before I got the first one. But from having, I done had three since then, though. Mm -hmm. But I, my business just scaled tremendously from getting a business coach. Really? Mm-hmm. I might need me a business coach. Right. It helped me a lot. Because we're doing things the way we think we should do them. So for somebody else to be able to look into your business and say, oh, no, I would do this, or I suggest you do this, or go over your price points, your marketing. You know, it's just really things we're not thinking about. But that's about. like, a okay, so like let's just say <clears throat> I'm just trying to start my business mm -hmm. today, and I can't <coughs> afford a business coach. Save up. For a Save business coach. For but even if, like let's just say I need to, like, you know, make – you know, what is my first step before getting... Oh, with getting, zero money? Yeah, with zero money. So I would definitely... Um, it's so many programs, though, that are absolutely free. So um, it's a But program. you always, to you, you feel like, don't do it on your own. I don't feel like you should. Or maybe right. you could keep your, your current job and save up until you... I mean, I just feel like if you want to be... I, I feel like people, entrepreneurs, like they always say, hey, we just jump with no parachute. And people do that all the time. But imagine if we planned... Mm -hmm. every single thing got before we quit our job or before our back mm -hmm. got against the wall we wouldn't be in some of the struggle places you know entre these struggle stories entrepreneurs tell because you can use the job the current situation that you have to fund right. the business right but i feel and, like there's and always strategy. ups and downs you know <clears throat> it don't have to be though if you're strategic enough Mm -hmm. You don't have to have no damn. But through at any business, even like let's just say like in working in the hair salon, right? Mm -hmm. Like in the summer, like it goes down. In the and I'm talking about like in the salon business. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why we teach multiple streams of income. So if one right, but then yeah. that's different. That's what we, yeah, that's different, right? But let's just say if this is just like I yeah, only the only source. Yeah, you get so, what I'm saying. So, so with you every advise. business, or even like so a I would do, I would tell them marketing. Owner, Marketing, yeah. marketing, how to get clients. So right. no matter what you're selling, you have to but get clients. But there's always, there's always like I feel like some low points. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it's not always high. But we want it to always be high, right? Like of my course. daughter, 18, she got a nail salon. I don't want her to have any downs, any lows. Like I'm, everything is planned out. This is your marketing campaign. This is your marketing plan. This is how you get clients. So you feel right. like any person can have like. Yeah. At all times. Yeah. So you never we need to think to, like that. You never in your business. I you, did. I didn't have never. a business coach. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know anything about business. I just said I'm gonna open up a spa, mm -hmm. with no. You know, I went to massage school, but they don't teach you how to do the business part. Right. So if somebody's just starting, I would definitely say, learn marketing, learn how whatever you want to sell, learn how to get clients to buy that thing. That would be my advice to anybody. Mm. Don't worry about going to get your logo first. Say, how am I gonna get clients? Well, oh, now you can them. get a logo from Canva. Like, yeah. Three, but people uh, spend all their time on that instead of spending all their time on marketing. marketing. And then they get logos, websites. Yeah, marketing is everything. They get all this stuff and then they don't make no money. And that's the struggling entrepreneur story that we hear too often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spend your time on how to get your clients. I spend all my time on how to get clients. Right. I don't care about no logo. So how do you get your clients? Most... <laughs> Here with you all on the <laughs> podcast. Right. Um, you just always, always, always market. Visibility. Mm -hmm. So I have visibility. You know you know how people always say, don't worry about the numbers on social media. Don't worry about the numbers on your email list. Mm -hmm. Worry about those numbers. So I'm making sure I so have. So you're, you're saying like, you know, okay, so you said don't worry. People, people are say saying, that. Don't worry about that. But you say, them, but you you say, say worry, worry about, about them the numbers. numbers. Get your visibility up. Get your potential client list up. Right. So I do podcasts, I do live events, mm -hmm. I do IG lives, I'm going to do a Facebook ad, mm -hmm. I got my email list, I got my text list, I got a referral program, 
I'm making sure every single month my business is attached to somebody else's name greater than me. So I can constantly get more people and more people and more people. And I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs, they'll get going and have a good day, and then they slack off the next day. Right. I don't care mm-hmm. how much money I made yesterday. I'm going to go just as hard tomorrow if I didn't make okay, a dollar. Okay, girl. I love that's that. That's right. Mm-hmm. So that's how I always get clients. I'm always thinking as if that you, zero. That zero. Mm-hmm. Right. And it keeps me successful. Right. Yeah. That's dope. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So um, I also heard like, you know, um, so do you feel like it's important to have like a business credit? Yes. That's one of my favorite, favorite classes. Um, And a lot of people, you know, that of course you're taking out a loan, so it's debt, but everything Mm -hmm. is about to flip. Right. So imagine if somebody going to give you a hundred thousand to go start your business, how much more successful you will be. Because that's also an entrepreneur story. They don't have the money to run the business the way that they want to run it. So a business coach and business credit, that's also another big way I have became very successful. With, uh, With business, the business credit. 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 Because when we make it's So when you say for those people that don't know what's business credit, what is business credit? So that's the bank giving you money. Right. For your, for your business. business. And you, and you so have you to apply pay back. with your actual with with your business. business number. With your well, sometimes they want an EIN and sometimes they want a done number. DMB. So it just depends on who you're applying to and what they want to. Really, um, for everybody listening, depending on your numbers, they're going to call you. Mm-hmm. So they call me every day. But the thing is, though, don't you have to, like, build up your business credit mm-hmm. to get, you know. You like do, but the, when people with, first start their business, they're not, they ain't even thinking about their um, business checking account, running money through there, uh, running your money through one system. A lot of entrepreneurs in the beginning, I, they scared of taxes. So they trying to get money under the table. They taking money on their cash right, out. They taking cash because they, they not thinking. I think about the big picture. I'm thinking about longevity. I'm thinking about on paper, having my seven-figure right. company. I can go short. People got to understand, if you have a seven-figure company, you can't be broke. If you have that money, you can show it on paper. You can go anywhere and get anything you want from anybody. Right. right. I'm not worried about the taxes. They got payment plans, y'all. Right. If, if your bill come in and it's too much, just get on the payment plan. Just make sure you communicate with the IRS and you will be fine. Because you need to show that you're making money. Right. Because, right. you know, these days we have people who say they do this and that. And then when it's time to um, get what they need, they can't get it because they haven't handled the paperwork. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a really big problem in the black community. We don't handle our paperwork. Yeah. We got to get better with handling our paperwork. Right. And did you learn all of this, these things through the, the business coach? Not through the business coach. <laughs> Trial and error. Trial and error. Trial and error. I learned all these things, mm-hmm. unfortunately, but now I'm much smarter. Right. So paperwork is in order. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm telling you, you never be broke another day in your life. You had to write paperwork. So okay. So let's just say, um, as a me, I'm okay. going to like I don't have no business, but I want to sell these waters. I yeah. want to sell this water. <laughs> we gonna sell them. We gonna sell them. Right. So I'm going to get an um, LLC, mm-hmm. right? I'm going to get a business, my business license, mm-hmm. right? EIN and a DUNS number. Right. And then it's a new business. So depending on your personal credit score, you can go ahead and get some trade lines under your personal credit, credit score. score. It's called a personal guarantee. Guarantee. That's what I was But guess say. what? That's not what you want to do. You want to get a business. <laughs> because your debt ratio increases on personal, and you don't get as much money if you apply from your business. Mm. You know how hard it is to get 100000 on personal? Right. They gonna give it to you on business because they <coughs> they looking at it as a they still even though we're a small company they're holding us to the standards of a big company. Mm. So you want to do it through business, but you, you got to build up to get ten thousand. But you can build it up ten thousand with dollars. I'm, um, uh, dollars? I mean, a hundred. Uh, yeah, like I'm uh, ten thousand. We can get that very fast. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, do you ha- you know with with certain people like well when it's personal, credit personal is, you can just get it. Because you got the credit score. Okay, but, okay, right. Business, but, they don't know your business yet. Right, mm-hmm. okay. So they're not willing to just give you $10,000 because it's a new company. So people got to keep in mind, if your business is five years or younger, you're considered a young um, company. Right. They right. want business is five years and older. And older. Because they're showing that um, your rate of closing is, is low because you've survived five, five years. Five years, yeah. So the rate is, you, you'll get less. When, if you're under five? Mm-hmm. Well, no. If you're making the numbers, if you're making the monthly numbers, you'll get it anyway. Right. But if you're not making the monthly numbers and it's less than five, right, it's a possibility you can't get what you want. Right. And we want to be able to get what we want when right. we want it. Right. 
<coughs> yeah, but you can build up your paydex score. Um, you can start off with vendor accounts. It's called tier one. Yeah, mm-hmm. vendor and accounts. And it's just you like your net 30 account. and yeah. little stuff like right. that. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Um, so what tools, um, can you give like a business owner? Tools for what though? Like just, in, uh, you know. Oh, um, QuickBooks, mm-hmm. of course. Um, at least one social media platform they can set if they want to be Facebook or Instagram. I would definitely say text message marketing. Now it's 2019. Email marketing will never die. Um, but text just have a 98% open rate. Right. So. Like, I do both. I have email and I have and text. And text marketing. So I would definitely suggest a text message marketing to really get whatever you're selling. Because everybody got their phone in their hand. Yeah, so right. So if you don't have a text message marketing system, you should get one. Slick, yeah. slick text will give you the first 50 free. Oh, that's it's good. It's called S-L-I-C-K text. And you, you get the first that. 50 free. And they give you a really cute banner to put wherever you want to once you get it set up. Mm. So you yours can say... Text hair or whatever hair and whatever to three one nine nine six, and then every time y'all go live, you send out a text, right? And they come join. I love that. Yeah. Look at her, see, giving us tidbits. Yeah. Okay, let me type it, right? right. <laughs> and, it's, and it's very user friendly, slick text. But that's a more expensive one. People use like Sin Hub, Text One mm-hmm. Eighty, but I've just used. Um, slick text for years, so I just stick with them. Yeah, but yeah, even after so. you use your first fifty, it's like twenty nine dollars a month. Okay, and that's, that's not for, bad. And that's for um five hundred though. For five hundred for thirty dollars, mm-hmm. basically. And then it goes to eighty. What else? What other tools? Um, I'm interested to know. And then um, <laughs> you have another, all of my attention. Another tool I would definitely say is brand ambassadors. <laughs> okay. That's gonna like so we can use Fashion Nova. So how do you use your brand ambassadors? Mm-hmm. Like, um, so when it comes to like your spa stuff and all yes, that stuff. Yes. So if a client comes in, we have loyalty cards. Um. As many times they come, like on the fifth time, it's free. Then we right. have referral um, discount codes. So if you refer three people, you'll get your massage free. We have that. We make sure they leave us online reviews because um, people got to understand too. If you have a business, it's not about you saying how amazing the business is. Right. People it's need to hear from other, other people. people. So you don't necessarily have to go pay your brand ambassadors. Everybody who is already coming in, get them to leave you an online review. Five star. I'm highly rated on Google, by the way. Yes. And also get them to leave your online review. Those are your brand ambassadors for absolutely free. Mm-hmm. Right. So everybody, need, I feel like everybody needs brand ambassadors. And then another thing, very important, a lot of people, uh, let's say you selling this water and you send it to to me and you want me to shout it out. But if you don't put in the contract how many times you want me to shout it out, it's a possibility I'm only going to do it there one time, and it's right. not enough. And we talked about that yeah. before. It needs right. to be right. multiple times. times. Yeah. Right. Multiple times. Yeah. Right. Right. In so. order to, like, you got to be on top of people and, like, yeah. show it, like, right here. Hey, listen. <laughs> you know, all the time. And believe it or not, I have a degree in science, too. But mm-hmm. believe it or not, when people constantly see something, they go check it out. Right. Right. So that's why Fashion Nova is all over the place, because the people who they um, pay, they are in contract to say 15 times, 30 right. times. They have to shout out Fashion Nova so many times, times. in a month mm-hmm. right. or they don't get paid. Right. So people need to keep that in mind, too, about your brand ambassadors. Yeah. Go ahead, girl. Keep on telling I me. I love it. <laughs> yeah. She has classes, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do have cl- Mostly girls who are spa professionals, but we trying to. Um, now, my business credit class, anybody can come to those. Mm-hmm. But my line is really because I've had a spa, spa for nine years. Right. Right. And I can do that with my eyes closed. Do you still have your spa? Well, um, my biggest location is in Memphis, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. Okay. So Atlanta, that's what I said. We did have the spa location for three years, but mm-hmm. all the clients became celebrities and influencers, and they want us to come to them. So once my lease was up, I closed it down. So yeah. you go to people's mm-hmm. We have 24-hour service. Um, You can get a membership with us. Oh, wow. It's 24 hours. And we will come 24 hours to your house. or So D, my business partner, she be in the studio. She be everywhere. With all the celebrities. I don't do massage anymore. I'm retired. But you have people. There. What kind of services do you provide? Every so we do also have a medical director as well on our um right. VIP. So IV hydration. Y'all had IV hydration before? Mm-mm. I wanna have I heard it. About I've it. heard about you it. You can do that live on one of y'all pop. It's dope. Really? Yeah, so we have um, three medical directors here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um also at the Memphis location we have a medical director, so we have IV hydration. B12 shots, body contour. Yeah, a lot of people get surgery, so we do full post-op care. Like, we're going to 
You can pay us a surgery companion to travel to Dominican Republic with you, Colombia with you, uh, Miami with you. Because a lot of people go have surgery and nobody knows. And then once something happens, they're not trying to call their family right. and tell them what's going on. And so now we offer surgery companion as well. So we go travel with you during the oh, surgery, wow. take care of you once you get back home. We have the V-steam, the vaginal steaming. Make sure you can sit on that plane. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. And a lot of people do it by themselves. Right. Yeah. And it's very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very. Y'all won't believe some of the horror stories we have. Um, very dangerous. Because you need the massaging and all of that. Yep. And we have a lot of celebrity clients, which we... Um, you know, sign a non-disclosure with them to not tell, hey, they had surgery, or if we go to their house, we won't come back out and say, hey, this happened, this was said. So they don't even ask us to sign a non-disclosure. We give it to them, and it makes them trust us more. And so now that's how we got in this celebrity circle because, you know, we don't try to say, hey, can I take a picture? Or, hey, we just right. go do just our do job, a job and leave. And leave. Right. Yeah. We don't ask for no shout-outs or nothing. So that really helped us um, a lot. And mm-hmm. we have facials, skin care, massage, pretty much all spa services right we have every single spa services you can think about okay so it's all spa do you do like laser stuff like i don't do laser i don't think we do laser at any of them maybe like in la because we have a community of over 500 spas Mm -hmm. in our database all black owned so i'm sure some more people um do laser but we don't do it at our location what about like um do you find like the fillers and all that stuff so the medical director yeah the medical director you have to be a nurse nurse practitioner they have to do all that that. so yeah like if you're just a massage therapist you can't do that yeah no you need to be yeah and then we have at the miffy location we have medical institutions as well so they do full like you come in and your skin is (laughs) horrible they're going to really come in and get you all the way together. Oh, wow. Yeah, because some people have cysts on their face. They don't know it. They think it's really bad acne, but it's it's a cyst. Mm. Right. So they go in and take that off. It's pretty cool. Very good Informative. Yeah. 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 And we do waxing. Waxing is a big deal, too. Mm-hmm. Because people, some people have bad experience with Brazilians, so they're scared. So we have one of the top waxes in the country at the Memphis location. Mm. We have one of the top body contouring specialists at the Brooklyn. Location. And when you do the um, Brooklyn, so when you do the body contouring, what is that exactly? So body contouring, um, it could be for people who already had surgery and want to keep that silhouette, or it could be for people who don't want to get surgery yet. So it's non-invasive procedures. And what is that like? Like laser lipo, cavitation. Does it really work tightening. though? So that goes back to what you were saying about your curl pattern. Hey, if you do your um, products, your you know your treatments, your eating healthy, your curl pattern can be at its highest level. That's the same thing with those services. So mm-hmm. you can't think you're going to come in and get laser lipo and then go eat a burger. Right, go to McDonald's. It's not going to work. Or like the Brazilian butt lift. Mm-hmm. The, when we do Brazilian butt lift, we're actually using wood therapy to move that fat up to your butt, then put the suction cups on there. So mm. every single thing is a process. I don't want anybody to think. It's a one-time thing, you know. You gotta get so on the la- so you do laser, <laughs> the laser. But that, <coughs> but that's just laser lipo. Most laser is gonna. How does that be, work? The laser lipo. It's a machine. But when we think about laser, we think about maybe like laser hair removal. But this this is a machine. It's a machine. That it's a actually, light, and it is goes it like in melt, and break down fat. It fat. melts mm-hmm. the fat. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. I used to. I I kind of. I used you to did work laser lipo before? No, I oh. never did laser, but I did. Um, I used to work for a dermatologist. Oh, okay. So they did. It was mostly like. But this was a it space. Was, it was cosmetic though. Yeah. Like they did body cosmetic. Like yeah. they did. Uh, um, well, they do the non-invasive body cosmetic with the laser. But when I think right. about laser, I just think about laser hair removal. Yeah. Yeah. And I um, also saw like the cryo where people. Do oh yeah, the with cryo skin. Skin. Yeah. Yeah. So if people are listening, we do China trips as well, and so the cryo skin machine. They've done a lot of Facebook ads, and basically, I want to say it's like a thirty to sixty thousand dollar machine. And now you've basically signed your life away when you sign that paper, because you got to get them fifty percent of your earnings if you don't have that money to pay for that machine up front. Mm. Let's go get it from China. Get it from Does China. it work though? The cryos that you I mean, do? everything is a regimen, and everything right. is about what you're doing when you leave. And the maintenance, yeah. Because when, when you're there, your client hair looks amazing. Right. Two days later. Right. It looks nothing like how they left you. So all of those non-invasive treatments are going to be the same thing. Everything is about what they do when they leave. Right. So, okay, I'm, I'm coming to you, and I'm going to get li- uh, lizer, laser, laser lipo, laser mm-hmm. lipo right? What do I do to maintain it? So um, we have wraps that you can do once you leave, and it's a particular slimming cream that active, activates. So 
it's not the actual laser lipo, but you still got some type of activation going on to help with those fat cells. And of course, you need to have your water intake and your uh, nutritional level. And a lot of people work out. Some people don't, but now we have detox sunnah bag that you burn up, you know, 800 to 1,000 calories, you know, in 30 minutes or an hour. So we got a lot of new technology for people who don't want to work out, but everybody probably want to work out if they really, really trying to lose right. weight and get the shape that they want. Then, of course, you know, they got waist trainers and corsets, and then we it's called Faha. So that's for people who oh, actually yeah, have Baja surgery. Yeah. Those really work, though. Yeah. yeah. If you want to get a Coke bottle shape, even if you haven't had surgery, if you're doing non-invasive, Fajas. get you a Faha. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna get I you. Used to, I, I used to. I think I, I had one. one. Me too. I used to have one. I, I just can't one wear it. You, but you see how they? It's tough yeah. to even get no, in I know, those. I know, um, from what I, I have a uh, one of a mutual, not a mutual friend, but she's a friend of uh, Jessica's, and um, like I asked, hey, does she get like? You know, surgery. She was like, no, "No, this girl just swears by her fa." I'm telling you, like, no, I'm, it's true. And it's you, yo, I'm gonna show you a picture. Of yes, her. her shit looks good. Yeah, really. And she's, you know, she's thick here, but her, her, her waist. Mid-sex, yeah. Look, I'm going home and getting me a fa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, get you a fa. And if you want to <clears> add, you know, laser lipo. Uh, detox on a blanket you can add those on top of the faha but the fahas really really work mm. yeah I tell anybody to get faha I only wear mine when I have to if I don't have to wear it I don't wear it cause that thing is tight no, yeah it's tight and you're like you feel but, also, but it, makes it makes you, you have good like, posture your posture you know? and, and everything if you, when you eat you eat less cause your stomach is it's restricted you can't eat as much as you normally Look, would I'm gonna I'm go home and, and order me a fire. that has sparked you <laughs> <laughs> no, they got a place in Atlanta, a hotel it place. It. Yeah, it's kind of far out, but it'll be worth a drive. I don't know if they the real Colombian ones, but they right. got them. Yeah. I knew it was from somewhere in Latin America. The best somewhere. is like Colombia. Okay, because yeah. I think I got one. That's it might have been from Mexico. From. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Colombia is like out the body contouring. Gina Joe, she goes to Colombia all the time. Take girls to Colombia um, when they had a surgery, and like. Her shape banging too. It's so crazy because they tell you not to do that. Like they tell you not to go to like the DR. Or, uh, so Columbia. the reason they're telling you not to go there because we're in the United States, and so if you want to go have plastic surgery, it's um it's only so much you can take out and so much like you can the put CCs. in, right? Mm-hmm. And in the Dom- Dominican Republic or other places, the laws are different, and so that's why everybody go there because they really get snatched right where they can't but also i think it's also like you know you're supposed to get like a physical and if you're not approved certain doctors still would do it you know what i'm saying so you have to be yeah you you have to have like i got denied twice in united states for surgery wow two times because i didn't pass um my exams Mm. right so you have to pass certain exams and some you know some uh doctors out there because of their you know their reviews they want to keep their reviews right yeah. you know so they'll go by the law that you're yeah. supposed to yeah. like you know pass you know because they don't want anything to happen yeah. to the person yeah. right yeah. Yeah. yeah and they'll be liable for you know whatever their names is on yeah i got denied twice yeah. and then i start eating chips again <laughs> <laughs> not wearing a fire hot because actually when you go get the surgery you start preparing months in advance yeah if mm-hmm. you're smart if you're smart. you're supposed to you know yeah, like but I some think people don't I think it's, you should lose as much weight as, as you, you can. Eat, right. Mm-hmm. Well, if they're doing a fat transfer, they don't want to lose too much because you got to have enough in there to take out. That's true. Right. But I'm but saying But I just, I've seen a lot of people who now you can get, you know, the, the, the arms. The arms. Mm-hmm. But like there's certain people that look like, you know, like this and they have like this section here, super small, mm-hmm. but then they're big here. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I've seen that. That's right. why the new and, ones do everything. They do the top of the vagina too. So you're going to get the top of the vagina, like hold this. Wait a minute. Arms, everything. You can get the top of your vagina. But well, what happens if you go in and get right. a tummy tuck and get lipo and now your stomach, um, your stomach is flat, right? But you're wearing your faha, and so the faha is on, and the top of the vagina is like it's pooped out and it, yeah. it gets fat, and then they have to go back. And also too, like your vagina gets fat from like <laughs> fat, like you know because yeah, it's well, fat that was too. a good thing. So a lot of people I have mean, to but, go back. Yeah, I don't know. They, they and don't get their lipo down there. I mean, look, you don't want a fat vagina. You want a, a, a tight vagina. Yeah. Well, tight, is, y'all come down in the hole. This is back in the yeah. We do that, too. The yeah. medical director. Yeah, y'all do everything. Well, that's why we have a medical director yes. at all of Because so many new things come out, and you have to have a medical director. But you can just do some Kegels for that, right? No, you can do some Kegels mm-hmm. if you want to. And then you can do, they got bleaching now. Intimate, um, You know, ain't no bleaching. Bleach your a-hole. Oh my God! Bleach under your arms, your knees. Oh, much. 
I can see why, like, let's just say, like, uh, you know, somebody who's a, a model and she's always naked or, you know, she's, like, posing with her butt out, right, you know, yeah. like, or a, a porn star. It's a big star, deal. You know, mm. I can see why you would go and get, like, you know, bleaching, bleaching and you're yeah. a-ho, you know? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, Underarms like, and knees. Look, you're going to take this a-ho how it is. <laughs> Especially a porn star. Listen, okay. <laughs> A porn star is getting and a whole vagina. Boost. Yeah. Because they want to look good. Yeah. See, it's a lot. Spa it talk. Is. Spa I talk. See. It's like so many avenues with spa. That's why we have to stay on top of trends. So we go right. to China. We go to so like we just you going to China uh, tomorrow? You yeah, said. we're gonna go to New York Fashion Week first, and then we're gonna head out to China. Okay, my friends like up we there. just went to um, my friend showing for the first time. Oh nice. Jay Chic lifestyle. Hey girl, yeah, I'm on the way. Hey. She's already there, but I had to do this. I was right. Like, I can't make it yet. But it's her first time showing, so we excited for her. Nice. But China, um, you could go next month, right? Like we went last month. Mm-hmm. We can go this month. All new everything. Because they making the stuff. Mm. So they making it before we even know. So what you mean? All new what? Everything, like? Anything. So we gotta clothes, go to China. machines. Mm. Like they're, they're, whoever's thinking of this stuff, they're making it. So they have it before United States ever right, gets right. it. So like right. a lot of the stuff we brought back last time, it's not even here yet. So mm. we have to, we go often. So right. we can stay ahead of the trends. Yeah. And we get all the spy equipment. That's dope. And you ship it out here and all that. Yes. It's a, I just left the post office while I came here. Mm. It's a lot. And the machines are heavy. Right. That's why it's a lot. So we're going to get somebody to be over the shipping department. Because mm-hmm. I'm not going back to the post office ever again. Wow. So somebody has a new job. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I can sit can. here and talk about all this stuff because all the, yeah, because there's so much information <laughs> that yeah. you know you don't even know what people are doing. All these even celebrities, y'all do hair. they have a whole hair market. You know all the hair dryers, the steamer ones they got now, yeah. and everything is there. Yeah, yeah, it's bomb, and it's yeah. cheap. Right, I know. I need. We need to go. We need yeah, to go over just there. to get. They got know, a lot of stuff for her stylists. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> everything. Because I know everything is made over there. Even yeah. hair, I feel like they're not, like, really... We stay in a hair market all day. Right. But, like, I think, like, you know, c- certain hair, like, I don't feel like, you know, so many it's Chinese like women are cutting, cutting off their, their hair. And it's I think it's hair. more so in India, I think, where they cut Yeah, it's India. Yeah, but yeah. I think now, like, the, when you get in, like, you feel like getting Chinese hair, I think that shit was made in the... The, the lab or something. <laughs> Probably was. Yeah. We get a lot of it, because you can buy samples before you go in and do, like, a bug order. Mm. So you can do samples and see... Who you like the best and who you don't like. But it's, when I say dirt cheap, dirt cheap. That's why the hurt company's winning. Right. We never knew. We was like, oh, this is how they're making all their money. Mm-hmm. The more you order, the less it costs. Yeah. They do wholesale bulk <laughs> orders. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So where can they find you, all your information? And- so I am Six Figure Spy Chick on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Instagram is my main platform. I'm on Facebook a lot too, though. But either one, I'm there. On Google, I'm gonna pop up. Okay. Candice Holyfield. Yay. It'll come through. Okay. So you just talked about their visibility. Right. Mm-hmm. Very important. Right. Yeah, I gotta get with you. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. What kind of, we're gonna see how your hair gonna be next time. Let's right. <laughs> <laughs> what style are you gonna next have? Next week. She's gonna, she's gonna keep these. I'm gonna things. keep this for a minute. Yeah. You yeah. know how you'll see somebody and you won't recognize them yeah, because their hair wasn't the same? Right. That's me. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, a little. <laughs> a little bit. A little for 10 bit. hours. For 10 hours. I'll take it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we calling you right, out. So let's get into the call. We calling you out. Um, kind of foolishness is going on. So now. we have this girl. She's um, she's going to be- bleach her hair. Um, the fact that she's... Mixing it with a spoon says a lot. Says a lot, first of all, because you're not even supposed to mix bleach with metals. Mm. And then, um, wow, like that's horrible. <laughs> what? what the color? The color. Oh, I, see, I wouldn't know. I thought it, I thought the color came out good. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I'm not hairstyling. I didn't. I don't like that color. You, you think no, it, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's very brassy. Yeah. And and guys like, you know, obviously And that's a natural hair though. It it is, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's you know, that's fine, but she shouldn't be uh bleaching her hair at home. Right. And using a spoon. 
to mix the bleach. You're breaking the bleach down. Like yeah. Right. Yeah. And then that's, that's probably why it didn't process all the way. Right. Mm-hmm. It's a good tip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have it's a metal. E-book, a checklist, e-book? We need that. Yeah. That's on the list. I have over 30 ebooks for spa professionals. I love that. Yeah. I we books. We got so much work to do. Yeah. That's so much knowledge and yeah. you know. Because like I never knew you should. So, I mean, uh, um, so also like, how do you with all the stuff that you got going on? How do you keep track of everything? Um, well, usually, I and make then a, we'll let you go. <laughs> I usually make a list on Sunday of what I'm gonna sell for the week. Right. Everything is out there and available. Anytime. No, but like as far as like your schedule. Oh, how do you I have stay? my personal assistant? Mm-hmm. Okay, you. So you have your personal assistant, and I have my PR, and they say you need to be here at this time. So they. Hit. But before then. What would you Girl, do? Girl, I mean, I, even though I got those people, I still do a lot myself because things are added to the skin. Like, my assistant right now, she's like, Candy, send me this. You adding stuff because it wasn't on there before. Right. Gotcha. So, y'all, no, just me. I still write every single thing down mm-hmm. in an appointment book. That's it's in the me. car. I take it every single where I go. Yeah. So, if it's important, if it's not on the appointment book, it must wasn't important. Right. So every single thing still get rolled down on the appointment book. Right. But they send me reminders every day mm-hmm. about. And that's a good advice, too, is to, you know, for entrepreneurs is to, like, sit down at the beginning of your week and just write out your week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still do that to this day. So I'm writing out my week. This is where I need to be. This is what I need to be doing. This is the day I'm going to do an IG Live. This is the time I'm going to do an IG Live. This is the day my text going to go out. This is the day my email going to go out. Um, and every day we are pitching for, you know, interviews, um, able to be a speaker, mm-hmm. whether I'm going to go as a vendor, whether my spa is going to come and be a sponsor. We're already almost booked for 2020. So oh, we, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, because we do, like, Essence and Super Bowl and we do all this stuff, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know all the uh, events. The main, yeah, the we main do, events. Uh, we do spa lounges. That's uh, how a lot of celebrities start finding us too, because we find the events where all the celebrities are, mm-hmm. and we just call whoever is over and ask them, "Can we sponsor a spa lounge?" Right. I love that. And then we only got a no one time, and mm-hmm. that was actually for a women's conference in New York, but she said because she didn't have a space. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> so that's what we used to do, but now, it, thank God, everybody called us, right, and ask, "Can we come and bring us?" So we do like MogulCon. Pretty much all the big events mm-hmm. you can think about. Um, black nurses killing it their week. That Black Nurses Week. Every single pretty big thing they call us for massage therapists. That's dope. But we used to reach out to everybody else. Okay, right. well I want my massage after. Yeah, uh, right. Because I listen. I got my massage before, before and I'm feeling <laughs> like tremendous. That's why I've been so relaxed, you guys. <laughs> That's funny. <why>. Yes, I'm <laughs> like <laughs> I got my massage. I was in a zone this whole episode. And Z okay. will give everybody $20 gift card. So any of y'all listeners who looking for a massage therapist in the ATL, Blitz for Peace ATL will give everybody $20 gift cards. Y'all hear that. And she'll pull up on you. See, she and she amazing. pulling up. Right. Yeah. She do everybody in Atlanta. Like, it, I thought, you know, working on six-figure spot shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just fell in love with that. So I was like, forget these massages. <laughs> Right. Um, but she do everybody in Atlanta, and she's amazing. Yeah. But she would definitely give everybody. She can. We can leave some up here. Okay. How do y'all want us to do it? Yeah. Because people need these massages. They do. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a game. Yeah. Changer. You should. You should. Like, I think you know, people should get massages like, um, like on a like twice a month, mm-hmm. every week. You know. I mean, yeah. That I'm. I'm saying. Every you know, week. like you should. Mm-hmm. And B12 shot. I get my B12 shot every week and my massage every week. I need to take some B12 drops. I need some more. No, the, sh- we the, the shot or the IV hydration. The medical director will come right up here and get you together before your show. Oh, really? Yes. Flex with Mo, Re-Up ATL, Dr. Zeblin. Just let us know. We got y'all. Okay. We'll come right up here. Wherever y'all at. Right. Get y'all yeah, together. Well, well, well. It and makes you, you feel, make you have more energy. It makes you feel you going to sleep so good. Like if you get a real IV hydration. Mm-hmm. You sleep so good. It's like yeah. Well, we'll we'll get the information and we'll schedule for them to be on the they love probably it. like next month. Mm-hmm. They yeah. love it, and you gonna it's bomb. Yeah, it's we, got, we gonna do a live IV exactly. hydration, yeah. guys. Hydration, yep. And see how y'all feel. Yeah. And the next day, like for, so, how long? How often you think you should get like well, a B twelve uh, shot? Well, you can get a B12 shot every week if you want to, but your medical director, when she do the full consultation and everything with you, she'll tip. Like, when I got um, my last bag, it went fast. Like, my body just sucked, sucked up all up. She's like, Candice, you're traveling a lot. You're doing this and that. You need to get this done every week for the next four weeks to mm. so just really get your body back in gear. So she'll tell you, you know, what you need depending on your consultation and how fast your body's sucking in the vitamins and things like this. Right. 
She'll get you and that's that. probably what I need too because I notice like some days like I have all the energy and I hit I want to hit the ground running but then like that next week I'm just you slum because you're slum. tired but the IV hydration will help a lot okay at first I was scared to get it I was like I don't want to be stuck with a needle but when I tell you it's a game changer I'm like stick me <laughs> stick me it makes me feel and I'm more productive right my favorite book tribal mentors and it's saying how we think that when our back is against the wall, that's when we say we perform at our best. And the lady said, that's not true. Right. You perform at your best when you're happy and stress-free. You right. are. And when you're yeah. well-rested. Right. When that's, you're well, true. that's true. But we think we're supposed to be up all night, burning the midnight oil, and no. we're tired. Get your IV hydration and go to bed. Right, and go to sleep. Don't take no melatonin after your IV hydration, girl. Then you, like... Slop. <laughs> Slop. I told in her minutes. I ain't slept that good all year. Wow. All year. I needed that. Yeah. So, yeah, she's amazing. But we'll hook y'all up. Just let us know. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. All well, right. Thanks well, for coming. <laughs> thank you for coming. And you, she already told you guys where you can find the... Uh, mm-hmm. um, find them um and so what's your closing quote my closing hair quote is leaving conditioner on your hair for a longer period of time is not deep conditioning so can you explain that (laughs) um please basically leaving conditioner regular conditioner on your hair is not deep conditioning your hair like it has to say deep conditioner conditioner or or hair hair mask. mask Look at y'all, twins. <laughs> we say this all the time. Damn. <laughs> and it's in y'all ebook. Right, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm not going to say the name on here. Somebody might try to steal it. Right. <laughs> it's okay. It was for us. It's for us. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, y'all know where to find us. Yep. Where can they find us? Instagram, Hair and Whatever Podcast. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, Hair and Whatever Podcast. On YouTube, Hair and Whatever Podcast, Instagram, all the same, pla- like all the social yeah, medias, same all throughout. the same, and you know, where y'all can watch us, YouTube, where you can listen, um, iTunes Podcast, and SoundCloud. Yep. All right. So, we out here. We out. Peace, love, and light. <laughs> <laughs>